This calculator can help you analyze different mortgage options and figure out how much you can save by making extra payments. When you open the spreadsheet, it comes with this sample data. You'll want to fill out all of the white cells with your own information. In the Mortgage Information section, you can specify your loan amount, interest rate, your term length, and when you'll start making payments. You can also select how often your loan's interest is compounded. Then you can choose how often you will be making payments. Each of these choices is a little different, and there's explanations in the red triangles to the left. But an overview is that semi-monthly has 24 payments in a year, bi-weekly has 26 payments in a year, and accelerated bi-weekly has 26 payments that are slightly larger than the other ones. As you make changes, you can see the summary table update with the total interest that you'll be paying, the total payments you'll make, and also when your last payment date will be. And this is also represented visually for you in a graph here. The chart shows how the balance of your mortgage will decrease over time, either with those extra payments or without them. The standard mortgage payment consists of the principal and interest due each period, and that amount is shown here. But also for your reference, we've included a section for estimating the additional tax and insurance portions of the payment for United States mortgages. Everywhere else in the calculator where we talk about mortgage payments, we're referring only to the principal and interest amounts. One important thing to be aware of in mortgages is to know that making extra payments can save you a lot of money. And this section of the spreadsheet can help you figure out exactly how much you'll be able to save. So you can put in the amount of the extra payment and how often you'll be making it, such as every six payments. You can also include an extra annual payment, such as one that you'd pay at the end of the year. And then as you're updating this, then of course the summary table is updating, and you can see the time being shaved off your mortgage as you pay off more principal earlier on. And it adds up for you exactly how much you'll be able to save in your interest. There's a few other great features of this calculator. One of them is that you can see what your loan balance will be in a few years. You just type the year and it will tell you what the balance will approximately be at that time. And another feature is that you can compare variable and fixed rate mortgages. If you want to use a variable rate mortgage, then you'll just enter all of the information about the minimum and maximum interest rates and how often they'll be changing. And that can be represented for you in this interest rate history graph that shows what it will be at any given point in time. And all of this information that you've entered is summarized in this payment schedule that you can look at each different date of your payments and what the total amount will be as well as how it's broken up into the different categories. One great feature of this is that in the additional payment column, you can enter any added amounts that you want to include. It adds up for you the extra payments that you already inserted in this extra payment area. But if there's any unscheduled amounts that you didn't put in here, you can put them in this additional payment column and it will total up for you what your balance will be over time. One final thing I want to show you about this calculator is that sometimes it's really nice to add up how much interest you've paid in a year. So if you want to do that, you can just come out to the side somewhere and type equals sum and then select the cells that you want to include. And once you've done that, you'll just push enter and it'll show you the total amount of interest that you've paid over that amount of time. So now as you're using this calculator, we hope that you'll be able to find ways to save money and to knock a few years off of your mortgage.